Aww. Luke came to visit. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of clarinet kits and coffee. Okay, you're getting hair all over my clarinet. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys an etude that features articulation and um, a tricky little rhythmic pattern. Uh, one eighth note followed by three sixteenth note triplets. And I find this to be really, really fun to play once you kind of get the hang of how to play it. Uh, so I am gonna go over that in just a moment. But before I do that, I wanna make sure all of you know that Clarinets, Cats and Coffee now has a Facebook group. If you love these etudes, these excerpts um, that I'm posting on Saturdays, um, I'm gonna be asking members of the group to post themselves playing these uh, so we can all encourage each other and be part of a community and just give positive happy vibes in the clarinet world. Also, I wanna thank my patrons. You guys are so great. You really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for your support. Those of you who are not yet patrons, please consider supporting my channel for as little as three dollars a month i've got perks and all kinds of fun things and you guys get these etudes early if you become a member of my patreon community so i really hope some of you will consider that Ooh, yeah all right so this etude is it's a lot of fun and uh but the the main thing that i think it it does for me is kind of it, it works on my air support it kind of gets me to play with uh, much much better air support to achieve that really light staccato um, and the very light sort of flute like sound in the upper register um, so the first tip that I have uh, for you guys is uh, to make sure that whenever you go to play this, that you actually start your air a little bit before you time, just like a tiny bit. Uh, doing so will actually ensure that you have that cushion of air going before the note sounds and it will come out when you want it to. And instead of pushing your air after you tongue, all you do is just and the sound comes out okay so I know it could be kind of a hard concept to grasp um, and it's a lot easier to talk about this in private lessons um, but hey it's a YouTube video and I know you guys are gonna experiment this stuff on your own but that's what I try to do have a cushion of air going all the time and think about making sure my air is is starting just a little bit before I intend a tongue and, and sound the note so if you were to like put your ear right up against my instrument, you would hear right before I actually play the note. Okay, well, I'll play the right notes eventually. Um, so you, you would hear um, a little cushion of air, just a little going through the instrument. People out there can't hear it. People, if you know, if you're right here up against the instrument while someone is playing, I'm sure you would hear that. But you want to make sure that that air is always going. It's going to help you relax and achieve that nice light sound. The next thing is uh, is to make sure that you're actually playing the 16 note triplets very evenly and spacing them out to take up the entire eighth second eighth note of each beat right so um, I think a lot of folks when they do this um, they rush the first two notes in the slur and so they end up sounding which is not what's printed right if I were to print that rhythm it would be two thirty second notes and a sixteenth notes right so um, Imagine just like one triple a two, one triple a two, triple a one, triple a two, triple a one, triple a two, triple a one, triple a two, right? Bum, buttle it on, 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 right? Right? So, uh, playing it nice 
nice and even will really help give this rhythmic accuracy. Um, now, in the second line, when you have the C to D triplet, you can actually use, I like to do this, I like to use the trill fingering for high D, which is you keep your thumb and your register key down, and then you press the second to top side key here. sound quite as good as the normal fingering um, but that's my preferred trill fingering for D and I think it sounds really good in passage such as this the other option is to hit the G sharp key but I hate that trill fingering for D because it's out of tune it's like almost a quarter tone flat so um, I try to avoid that fingering for trilling D's, right? So give this one a shot if you don't want to reach up over the altissimo break. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. Um, when you're practicing this on your own, have fun with it. Um, I like to try to sound as fluty as possible and uh, try to achieve that lightness of sound and character that um, a flute player would, um, since this is uh, mostly in the clarion and altissimo register. Um, so I'm going to try not to take this too fast. If you guys uh, can't keep up, you can actually slow down the recording a little bit and play along with me. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Here we go. you enjoyed playing along with me. Now if you're having fun practicing this this week, be sure to hit record on your smartphone and go to the Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee Facebook page and share a short clip of yourself practicing this. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing. <laughs>